Royals in shock as Princess and is hospitalized. Princess Anne, known as the Princess Royal, recently faced a challenging situation which resulted in her sustaining minor injuries and a concussion at her residence in Gackham Park. It is understood that she was taking an evening stroll with horses nearby when she was hurt. The Princess Royal was left with minor wounds to the head, and her medical team are understood to believe these are consistent with a potential impact from a horse's head or legs. This incident has sparked concern and attention towards the health and well-being of the esteemed royal figure. The subsequent steps taken towards her treatment and recovery have been carefully orchestrated, highlighting the importance of proper medical care and support during such times. Buckingham Palace swiftly confirmed the incident, assuring the public that Princess and was receiving medical attention at Southmead Hospital in Bristol. The statement released from Kensington Palace emphasized the cautious approach being taken for observation, with optimism expressed for her full and swift recovery. This incident serves as a reminder of the vulnerability even members of the royal family can face, underlining the significance of proper medical care and attention. The Princess Royal is the hardest working royal in terms of annual engagements at a time when the King has cut back on events and Prince William has also taken time off to care for his wife. The circumstances leading to Princess Anne's injuries are not fully disclosed, but it is understood that the incident occurred while she was walking within her estate. The nature of her injuries, particularly the head trauma, has raised concerns regarding the potential impact she faced. Immediate medical care was provided at the scene, followed by her transfer to Southmead Hospital for comprehensive evaluation, treatment, and monitoring. The presence of her family, including her husband Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, and children, Peter Phillips and Zara Tyndall, during the incident underscores the importance of familial support during times of adversity. Despite the severity of the concussion and minor injuries sustained by Princess, and the outlook for her recovery remains positive. The palace spokesperson's assurance regarding her comfortable condition and the precautionary measures taken for further observation convey a sense of assurance to well-wishers and supporters. The resilience and strength exhibited by Princess and in the face of such challenges resonate with many, serving as an example of perseverance and courage in times of difficulty. As a prominent figure with a busy schedule of engagements, the impact of this incident on Princess and future plans is evident. The postponement of her upcoming commitments, including the Japan State Banquet and a planned visit to Canada, underscores the need for prioritizing health and well-being above all else. The decision to heed medical advice and allow for sufficient time for recovery reflects a sense of responsibility towards oneself and serves as a model for others to prioritize self-care and rest during times of need. Princess Anne's journey towards recovery serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of resilience, support, and proper medical care during times of adversity. Her strength and determination in overcoming challenges demonstrate a spirit of fortitude and grace that inspires many. The outpouring of love and well wishes from the royal family and the public alike showcases the unity and compassion that embody moments of hardship and recovery. As Princess Anne continues on her path towards healing, her story serves as a beacon of hope and perseverance for all who face challenges in their own lives.